Hi guys. Welcome to my YouTube channel. So before we get started make sure to hit the like button also subscribe to my channel. In this video, we will talk about Top 10 Most Luxury Clothing Brands in the World. So make sure to watch the full video. If you are obsessed with luxury clothing brands and want to know more about them, then you would be in joy to know that you have landed yourself in exactly the right place. Today, in this video, we are going to discuss all the big names in the industry of apparel. Yes, that sounds great. Well, thanks to the famous movie, The Devil Wears Prada, today, we are pretty acquainted with many big clothing brands. But when it comes to the journey of these brands, how they manage to find a significant position in the world of fashion, and so on, we are not always fully informed. But do not worry when we are here. This video will give you all the deets that you need to have relating to some of the most luxury brands in the clothing department. So brace yourself, for we are going to take you on a wonderful tour. Scroll down and get inspired by the successful journeys for some really luxury clothing brands that are there. 1. Chanel. Coco Chanel's journey is nothing short of epic and legendary, which is what the brand is too. Brands with incredible stories like these are worth the tag and the price they come with. Chanel had a unique talent of reading what the world needed and making clothes accordingly. And, her designs are relevant to this day. The revolutionary little black dress, LBD, remains the must-have most priced possession in every girl's closet. Not to forget the Chanel No 5 Feet perfume, which was one of its kind. Chanel was one of the very first revolutionaries who believed that luxury has to be comfortable, otherwise, it's not really luxury. The brand to this day continues to be at the forefront of luxury and premium brands for not just apparel but accessories too. Chanel's brand value is a whopping $7 billion owned by the grandsons of Pierre Wertheimer, who was the earliest business partner with Coco Chanel. While Karl Lagerfeld continues to be the creative director for over three decades now. 2. Burberry. It's been around for over a century and is probably the oldest fashion brands in the world. Thomas Burberry started this store in 1856 in Basingstoke, England, and slowly blurred boundaries. The latest additions to the brand are Burberry London and Burberry Prorsum. The signature checkered khaki and plaid jacket is the first thing we relate to when we say Burberry. It was designed for the military and then gained popularity amongst civilians too. The design went on to become such a hit, that it's now part of every single piece of apparel and accessory in one way or another. With an estimated brand worth $3.4 billion, only their customers understand what Burberry is. 3. Hermes. Hermes as a brand has been around for over 200 years now. They first started in the 18th century as a label making leather harnesses, saddles, etc. And then slowly ventured into retail after Charles Emile Hermes took charge. Adolphe and Emile Maurice then took over from their father Hermes and got into the business of making clothes for men, women, and children. Hermes is the epitome of sophistication and class with everything they make, be it bags, shoes, perfumes, apparel or even interiors for the house. Just like a lot of other companies Hermes saw their share of ups and downs in business. However, they weathered all storms and continued to be a sought-after premium brand, serving the elite. 4. Prada. Prada was initially into making handbags, travel bags and suitcases for the Italian elite. However, when Mucha Prada took over, she launched men and women's ready-to-wear luxury clothing. Prada gained popularity even before this collection took off when she introduced luxury nylon handbags and backpacks without the big choking logos taking over the design. Element which was the scene with premium brands back then. And, that's really why this label has always been perceived differently by their loyal customers. Patricio Bertelli, her then-boyfriend and now-husband helped Prada in taking it into different directions and finally opening her first flagship store in 1986. 5. Gucci. Gucci's symbol got them a lot of attention, and Hollywood stars flying out of Italy started posing with these bags. That's how they penetrated into the US market slowly. Gucci then opened their first store in New York in 1956 and eventually in the other big cities in the United States. Don Mello took over the company in 1989 after the company went through turbulent times with passing of Gucci Mello. He got Tom Ford on board as the creative director to up their apparel and accessories game. Gucci went on to sign a lot of partnership and contractual deals with other big Italian and Americans brands. According to Forbes, Gucci is the 38th most valued brand in the world with a brand value of $12.4 billion and sales close to $5 billion, and this speaks for itself. 6. Dior. Christian Dior famously known as Dior, 
started as a premium brand designing haute couture for women in 1946. They later expanded into Baby Dior for children and Dior Um for men. Dior was one of the very first brands to present their full-fledged collection at their residence which was also their flagship store on 30th Avenue Montaigne Paris. He presented his collections named Carole and Wheat with 90 different looks which were soon called New Looks by Harper's Bazaar. In 1947 Dior got into manufacturing perfumes with their first one named after his sister, Miss Dior. 7. Dolce & Gabbana Dolce & Gabbana is relatively new when compared to the other big old names in the luxury brands. It started in the year 1985 by Domenico Dolce and Stefano Gabbana and was steadfast in gaining popularity. They went on to tie up with a firm in Japan to launch their collections who exported clothes to the USA and that eventually catapulted them into the American economy. 8. Ralph Lauren From serving the army to becoming a salesman and now part of the world's richest men list, Ralph Lauren had a lot of firsts associated with his name. Soon after quitting his job in the army, Ralph Lauren joined the Brooks Brothers as a salesman and became the best of their lot this evoked an interest in him who then went on to make ties for men. He convinced the management to let him open his own line. Bloomingdale's approved his first venture of making exclusive men's collection and is the first time they let their space for a designer's boutique. 9. Versace. Johnny Versace is an Italian, who comes from a family of designers. His introduction into fashion happened quite early because of his mother who was into the dressmaking business. Fashion and designing clothes came to him inherently, as he started working for his mother right after his high school. He later moved out to Milan and started freelancing. Eventually, he began his label, Versace, in the year 1978 and launched his first ready-to-wear collection. 10. Giorgio Armani Giorgio Armani is nothing but sheer sophistication, and if you see someone wearing the label in any capacity, you know that they belong to the cream of the society. Armani started the Giorgio Armani Corporation in the year 1978 in Milan. However, his fashion journey began in 1958 where he worked with different Italian brands designing exclusive men's wear. His fashion stint helped him build a strong network within the industry, which compelled him to open a brand of his own. What do you think of our video? Let me know in the comment section below. If you enjoyed this video make sure to hit that like button. Also subscribe to our channel before you go. Thank you for watching.